Wagwan people, welcome to iReflex. I'm your host, Ronnie G, and today we are looking at the Amazon Prime series, The Wheel of Time. Do you know what Aes Sedai means in the old tongue? Servants of all. Where next? The two rivers. The old blood runs deep in those mountains. What can we do? We protect the people we love. We do not stop the Dark One now. The whole world will burn. I can't allow it. The Dark One is waking. Okay, so the Wheel of Time takes place in a post-apocalyptic world. Um, 3,000 years ago, a powerful channeler known as the Dragon broke the world. Now, the world before the Dragon broke it is kind of like Atlantis, like a advanced civilization. So when a dragon broke the world, it set them way back and they pretty much had to start over. So now, 3,000 years later, uh, the story follows Moraine, who is an Aes Sedai. And Aes Sedai is a powerful, is a group of powerful women who can channel the one power. Now the one power is an energy. Now they don't really use, you know, God and stuff like that, but if you were to compare it as an example, the one power is God and the dragon would be the devil, okay? So um, there's a prophecy that's saying that the dragon will be reborn. And when the dragon is reborn, the dragon will either break the world again or save it. So Moraine has to go to this village to get these four people that, um, the Aes I believe one of them, they don't know which one, but one of those four is the Dragon Reborn. So she's going to this village to get those four and to take them back to the White Tower where um, Moraine and the rest of her Aes Sedai sisters live. Now to get to the White Tower is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a, a issue because um, there's these beasts that's following following Moraine and, and following the, the, the four villagers and they're called Trollocs and they're, they're, they're pretty much these monsters and, and they're, they're trying to kill them and they're killing everything that's in their path um, so they can get to uh, Moraine and the four villagers. Now these four villagers all know each other and they're all friends, okay? So we have Egwin, Ran, Perrin, and Matt. They all are together, and when Moraine goes to their village, the, the Trollocs follow, and the Trollocs, you know, try to pretty much destroy everything trying to get to them, and they have to leave the village with Moraine in order to save um, their families and, and the rest of the village. So they go on this journey to try to get to the White Tower. Now, to get to the White Tower, they, of course, are going to be going through some obstacles, and these obstacles that they're going through causes them to separate. Now, Moraine, um, she has a warder. Um, his name is, is Lan, and he's helping her with the, the four friends to try to get to, to the White Tower. So when they get separated, they each, you know, kind of go on their own journey and they go through their own individual issues trying to get to the White Tower. Now, once they get to the White Tower, then they'll figure out further who is the Dragon Reborn or who is a fake. Because there are uh, there are men who are claiming to be the Dragon Reborn. And that's what makes this journey um, more difficult. And not even the journey, but just, you know, the Aes Sedai women um, trying to figure out who the Dragon Reborn is and getting this Dragon Reborn to save the world and not be influenced by the dragon's uh, energy and break the world all over again. Now, as the friends travel um, on their way to get to the White Tower, they actually start discovering that, you know, they have powers of their own. And um, these powers can be either from the dragon or from the one power. But we don't know that. And so that's what's making it a bit more confusing and hard to, you know, tell and discover who actually is the dragon reborn. And so the question is, which one of these four is the dragon? 
or you know one of their powers coming from the dragon or coming from the one power and once the Aes Sedai find out who the, the dragon reborn is will he or she succumb to the the you know the the power of the dragon or will they defeat the dragon and save the world now I gotta say that you know I, I like this series um I didn't read the book I actually plan on reading the book and it's not just one book it's a lot of books <laughs> okay so it's good it will take me definitely some time to read the books but the show obviously is you know um, not obviously uh, some people might like it some people might not like it if you are not really into the lord of the rings game of thrones type um shows movies then this this might not be for you if you want something new check it out there's, there's a lot that goes on in it um, the acting is really good. Every, everybody did a good job. Um, Rosamund Pike, who, you know, plays Moraine, she, she's, a, she's a great actress. The scenes were good. The, the, the dialogue and, and the plot is good as well. Um, you know, there's times where you are watching and then you're trying to figure out who the dragon is and you're like, mm -hmm, that's the dragon. And then you say, wait, that can't be the dragon. Oh, maybe she's the dragon. So it, it keeps it keeps you thinking, and which is a good way because, because it keeps you into the series. I'm definitely looking forward to the second season. So that's it for right now. Definitely going to do a review when the second season comes out. Um, like I said, check it out. And I will see you on the next iReflix. Yeah, man.